Hi, um, I have to go to work in a few minutes, so this one really does have to be a short one today, but I just wanted to pop on and give a tip because this is, me and my friend have been doing this for the past few days and it's really been helping, but if you have something that's weighing on you or bothering you or something that you have an issue with a person or a circumstance or situation, try like literally imagining that Jesus is sitting with you and you tell him about it all and how you really feel and what you really want and everything and just kind of offload and unload it and it just takes such a weight off not only that you're actually inviting his advice in or his energy to kind of work with the situation and promote healing within it. And I had um, what could have been a misunderstanding between a person last night and I just didn't really feel like I wanted to bring it up with them. Um, I think I was just holding too much expectation on my end and it was better to just work it out myself and then let the situation unfold before I read too much into it either way. And I, I just prayed about it. You know, I, I prayed about the situation the day before and it led up to this. And then, um, I prayed about it again today. I'm um, just discussing it with Jesus and I just felt so much better. But then by the afternoon, it kind of resolved itself and I didn't have to you know, worry about it anymore. But I will say this, it resolved itself right after I had accepted that I, I would, I might be reading into the situation either way that I just needed to release it. And even if it is true, what I think, um, I, I just need to release the situation and accept it and move forward and be forgiving and not hold, um, on too tightly to my expectations. Uh, and yeah, it, it resolved itself after that, after I was able to release. And the boundary that I set for myself was that, you know, um, it was cre it was a moment of, um, overcoming codependence and I didn't let the situation affect me as emotionally as maybe it, it would have in the past. Um, I was able to just sort of observe it and, you know, be more relaxed about it and not take it too personally. I could see that myself wanted to take it personally, but I was like, no, you know, I could talk my, talk myself out of it. So that's what I would suggest. Um, those are my step-by-steps -step that I've just been trying to live through and it's really, really has helped. Um, and, and try to let go of the baggage that you carry about Jesus from, you know, growing up and maybe really cold or commercialized oversimplified churches or you know overly stern environments you know nobody really has the key to the exact answer of how to interpret it all but i think a lot of us grew up with um a maybe not ideal circumstances and circumstances that didn't really give you the true jesus so be willing to rediscover him on your own because most of the people I talk to, even the atheists, are like, oh, I love Jesus. I just like don't like the Christian church. And that's really understandable. But I think people um, sometimes don't know how to throw the baby. They end up throwing the baby out with the bathwater. They don't know how to like take, some, take the truth of it and leave the, the human flawed um, part because the church is run by people, not by Jesus. Um, Jesus was just wandering around talking to people. Um, he didn't believe in making it, um, building this big institution around it. He wanted to keep it more free and more intimate and more like in the moment and not have um, anybody own it. That was the whole thing. Well, all right, well, y'all have a good day. I'm gonna try to make this thing real quick and upload it and get to work, bye.